we're live. That's beautiful. How's it going? So we're going to do a 4 l 60 e Basically, here's all the parts I'm going to put in this one. 13 little veins for the pump. Had the pump already remachined. Reverse drum that the 2-4 band rides on. Uh, some choline steels. I got some Red Eagle clutches with the rest of the clutches uh, soaking up. Got some Teflon bushings. One Teflon bushing for the pump. One pump bushing for the reverse drum. Uh, let's see, Sonex, I put that one in already. Nice little fat Sonex. Good to change all the bushings. Change all the accumulators. Plastic GM shit we throw in the trash. Put in nice billet aluminum ones. Maybe save this second one for uh, fourth gear for a little firmer fourth. He wants a nice shifting on this one, so get rid of all these because we're going to put a stage two shift kit in a transgo. I'll save these for another unit. This can go in the trash with transgo. Unbreakable rings. Comes with two, two nice springs and two nice, uh, call those rings. The veins, they're unbreakable instead of that pot metal stuff. Putting an EPC in this one. Borg Warner. <laughs> I don't have the uh, putting two shift solenoids, a 3 2 downshift solenoid, and a manifold absolute pressure switch to new Corvette servo. When you say Corvette, does that mean that's the one they put in Corvettes? That's the one they put in Corvettes, Junior. God, my nephew's smart. He's the brains of this operation. And let's see what else we got. Uh, nice transgo stage two. Comes with a nice little box. Instructions in case you don't know what you're doing, which I don't. The pump. Nice new regulator. And there should be a nice little sticker on the bottom. Isn't that sweet? Okay. I need to take a break right now, Junior. I've done so much work. So, all new parts. Shit. Fuck, the day wasn't the best time to make a video. So, a little ring in there. This drum's got pretty much everything in the tranny. Let the old uh, Torrington stair sit for a bit. So, new pistons. with it. Can you see that Jimmy? Can you see that? Yep. Pretty good. Don't cut them. You just... You're smarter than your uncle. You'll be doing this next week. Just don't get in a hurry. Michael was just last week just wanting to pop them together real quick. Don't be in a hurry. One little slip, you'd be pulling it back out. Bad enough, you got a million circus seals. I'll put these in yourself. Okay. Be back. Oh, shit. Okay, so. I forgot we were putting a stage two in this, and uh, we got to put this these yellow springs in, and these nice big plain ones. And you got to knock this little gidget out. What do you call that thing? Who cares? Fuck it. Trash. Put the nice transgo one in. Just using the converter for a holder. We don't have to buy one of those seventy-five dollar tools. 
get that together. Tricky part. So tricky. Junior, just bring help me. Those springs just slide over. Yeah, you gotta line them up right now. Right, right, right. And they just barely fit on the notches put on yeah. the ring. So. Yep. That's my nephew. You know, gotta bend them back, right? So. Okay, so that's in. We can start over again. <laughs> Put that in. Where's that other shit? What are the other things that go in here? You don't gotta, that's just the hooks. You don't gotta bend the hooks up. If Triangle says don't bend them, don't bend them. They know what they're talking about. Those guys are. It here. just looks different. I was just It curious. is, it is, yeah. It's, uh, it's a little different, but they don't want you to just bend them out of the way. If you follow the instructions, you'll be good. Absolutely. That's that one, and here's the last one for this one. Looks a little beefier than it did before. Mm -hmm. Here's the other ones. There's all the little tiny ones. Thank you, my good nephew. Nice little washer they give you so you don't bend them. So, where did the one go? This one? Yep. Yeah. So, that's all together. Where's the camera go, Junior? Oh, you're good. I'm good right there. Okay. Those are the new rings. That's not in the camera right now. That is. Perfect. So if this works out, you should be you could be a director in Hollywood. Waiting for models to come over just to all oh, help your Russian girlfriend doesn't see this. I was just joking. <laughs> Might be one of the things you want to edit out. <laughs> Take your lip seal tool, pop it in here. Damn, Daddy's lip home. seal tool. Yeah, free a king of matic. Okay, another new piston. Jack ball, free. What does that mean? Did we go over this? I the other still day? don't know. Here's the little lip seal tool again. I gotta call Ricky for this shit too, man. It's weird working with a camera on top. Bam. Bam. Go there checking to make sure. That's like that nice little handy thing. Bam. Now find a snap when it fits. Like that shit. God, I got a problem. You see how much you swear when you actually see it on tape, right? My God. I think we've been pretty good. We might even be PG thirteen right now. Let me know when it gets actually out of here. Hopefully, my mama don't see this. Hopefully, you don't see the car. What do you do with that other video, Junior?
It's on there somewhere. Anybody want to see that one? Evil can evil 2.0. That's a nice video. All right, um, I'm gonna go put this on and I'll be white black. Piece of. This is pretty much the whole tranny right here, right? So, put on a thing that's been soaking for 24 hours. <laughs> Bam. New sprag's gonna go in here. Board warmer. I get it open. We're gonna have to show them the sprags that we got for sale after this. I got a ton of them. Nice job on the bolts, Junior. Okay, so hoist things for you. Get these old steam fires. This is what the this is what the sprag's got a grip too. I'm gonna put it up there. Can I see that? That's literally as far as the camera goes. So okay. you're right at the bottom. Perfect, my little man. I'll break clean that in a second. This is the other piece of the sprag. You can see the war. <clears throat> Do the same thing. somewhere I like the way you think so this little piece goes on top like that like that there's a little screwdriver take this can you see that junior These two parts called? This is the input sprag. And if it's on right, when you look at it, it'll freewheel clockwise both ways. So locks. Look at it this way. Free wheels clockwise. Locks. Bingo. Never heard to put a little tranny fluid on this shit. Put that on there like that. There's the other piece of it. Late model ones don't have the washer. It's like the Red Cross. Yeah, it does. I'll find the right snap. Right? That's possible. That looks like it right there. Perfect. That goes in there. Like Man, that spins nice. Okay. So. First of all, sprag in the second. Steel, clutch. in. 
drag it put in. Perfect. Now we'll go. Flash on top of the seal. Can you, can you hear me okay? I think so, yeah. Okay. Everything's good. You can see the no problem. Yeah. You got the clearance clearance. It looks good. There's another snap thing in. Gonna be a little tiny one. This one, this is a nice steady pack here. The old coaling seals, they look all right. But we're putting some red eagles. There we go. There's so many of these in there. Um, Keeps going a little bit on Ricky. Automatics only. It's D's. How you doing? D's. How you doing? D's nuts. <laughs> What's going on, Ricky? I need to order some 4L60. Okay, where was I? What was your question, Junior? I was just asking why there's so many of these clutches and steels. In like you mean in this pack or the whole this whole drum? In general. Well, I guess. If you were to put it in a nutshell. These nuts. Um, let's see. That's, too, that's way too steep. That won't fit in there. Uh, like they like to put a little bit more in this 3-4. If you could put, like everybody tries like, uh, they try to put nine... 10 of them in there but um it doesn't really work because it doesn't dissipate the heat the, the heat the heat doesn't dissipate like it, it it'll it's just they're putting too many and if you use the thick steels or just throw a couple of thin steels in and just use like seven i think that works pretty good like i've used them and shit put i don't know eight in them and it's that's about the most you're going to get i was just it's curious because they look like a lot like you put like seven of these orange ones in there red ones and like seven of the steels it just yeah looks, it's just curious. it's just for if they do different jobs and stuff like that um this is a three four plus the this is the one that ones, you know this is the one you always have a problem with like this is the one that everybody has a problem with right? yeah so everybody can sell the more the merry the more you put in the better not necessarily true. Because then there's more things that could go wrong. Um, it's not that. It's just that because you have so many in there, you don't use the thick ones, right? Everybody yeah. wants to use the sixty thousand thin ones, or and there's the even kits where you can put fourteen. Strong. It's they're not that they're good. not as strong. It's more holding power, but it's just it. This clutch man gets hot, yeah. and it just doesn't. If you don't, if you have thin steels in there, they just they'll warp, they'll cone, they'll warp. They just don't dissipate the heat good. This looks like it's might just be a little bit too tight. Transgo likes like 15 to 30 if I remember right. That's too tight. I'm gonna take one thick one out and just put a thin one in. That should do it because these are, I think they're some, some of them are 106,000. Yeah, some of some of them are. 76 
and some of them are like uh, sixty. Like this is a thick sixty thousand. That thing was pretty tight, right? So I'll put this in and see what happens. Take that one out, and I might need to put a seventy-six thousand in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then you don't you don't put these in right here, right? Because you're using the stage two kit. If Trans has this type of three four return spring, just because of the thick springs you're using, you know, it does a pretty good job of those help push this thing off like some typical clutch, but right, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't. Yeah, that's that's probably like that's nice. You put that in another one that's like twenty six thousand, I think. Where's the other one? Can't find it, but that's good enough because that's sloppy in there. That that'll look good. Now, what I usually do is air check it. No, but you want me to go turn no, it? No, that's okay. Me? So, yeah, oh yeah. Just set it off so we can. No, no, that's cool. That's it. cool. Yep, yep. So if it holds for ten seconds, that's that's there'll be no leak there, right? And it'll hold good. There you go. Especially there's probably only forty pounds here now. So three fours. And see, there's no ball no more. So if you want to see it. See the end plate, this is a real end plate check right here, but that's a three, four, three. can you see that good? It's probably using a little bit more than I could zoom in if you want. No, that's good. Cool. Put another, I might pull that 60 out and put a 76 in because that looks like it's a little more. So that's that. Got the washer on it already. Put that on top of the washer. And now this is everybody likes to cheat on this part. It's usually where you take your fingers out, right? They have a tool, they have the one part, but somebody liked the other one more than I did. A small little leprechaun at transmission shop here in London. Very unreputable one, I won't mention his name. I think we both know him. I'm talking about it. That's circus seal. It's still easy. It's, there's no reason not to change these, right? This is this is really important. It, all the basic stuff, right? Like change the bushings, put the Teflon rings on. Sounds like you're having a party over there. It could be. Those Dodge Brothers are a little uh, strange in itself. <laughs> the bass is trying to walk off of the shit. I'm going to have to go tell him to check this out. <laughs> How many minutes are we running right now? I'm going to cut. I'm going to edit the videos. Let's not edit We're, We've done like a half hour or an hour. Or, well, you know, the gonna... whole, this is basically the whole training is right here in this drum, right? Like there's a lot of that stuff in this drum. It's like the 604, right? It's got the overdrive, underdrive. And I will do it in parts, too. Like, I'll have part one, part... That's why I was asking you different sections, mm -hmm. so that we can put the name of the section on there, so that... Right, we'll do pretty much everything will be done here today, right? And then we'll do the valve body and just stuff the case tomorrow. And then this guy can come pick it up, and you can see... Oh, yeah, maybe they did do a halfway decent job. You can tell them to check out the video. <laughs> A lot of cats would be worried that they're not putting their five pin in and he can actually see it if he looks on the video. 
because these are golden, baby. They're hard to get. Escalades and now. That's too much tighter. I like that. You like it? If you like it, I like it. Bingo, daddy's old. Put a little holder back. Take this thing off and see it a little now. Usually it doesn't, but. Is that a good angle? Good angle? I like that pushing. Fucking beautiful. I like the way you think. Did oh, I just yeah. say the F word? I thought we were going to keep this piece PG 13. <laughs> That shit back on. Next one. The input drum's done. Okay. Got a nice bushing in there. Teflon. That's the pump bushing. It's a little thicker than the regular ones. Got a little juice in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you can tell I'm Canadian, eh? This is what we took the break for. Nothing like Tim Hortons, eh? Double double. Hey. Let's see. You with me, Junior? You still with me? Junior, you still with me? I sure am. So. Okay. Here's your low and reverse. Bam. Bam. Get these square cut seals. Here's your reverse input. Put these things on. Like what you just did. Number Canada, one. eh? Hey, do do the voodoo. We're Canadian, eh? Okay, juice this up a little bit. I think you should do them dry. I don't know how I did it, man, but I won't take no chances. Because I hate on I hate pulling this shit out. Cut one of them shit. He's a lot slicker than me. The boy's slicker than snot. You don't get a job at Transco just because you know somebody. <clears throat> you know what I mean, Junior? Okay. Where's my little uh, high dollar lip seal, too? Okay. Many clean white rags, virgin rags, no steel to cut your hands. Compliments of the Dodge Brothers. Okay, bingo. Okay, there's two, two snap rings exactly the same size. Can you see that, Junior? I sure can. Can the audience see that? Can the can can the viewing audience? So the thicker one goes in the input, reverse input. This thin one goes on that low and reverse. Give me two seconds. Let me pop this on, and we'll be right back. You don't even have to pause. We'll put another video on them. Close up on what you're doing over here another time. For the viewers out there. Essentially all you're doing though is just pushing those springs down so you can pop that snap ring in again. As long as we got that out of the way. I can see you being, being a big Hollywood producer one day. <laughs> As Joan weighs down, these are the same steels. These things, they hardly ever worn out. They're only on the reverse.
reverse inputs done. Okay. Watch out for the golden stuff. Where's the new one now? This is in the bag you just popped open? You just popped the bag open on that. Yeah, but that was just old ones. That one was in... <clears throat> I thought I popped it up from here. It looks just like this. Goes in the trash, no matter what. Well, there it is, right there. So, new O ring. There's a little bit more, we can match them up. What's that part? Just a filter. Catch it. Just pump goes in the pump. Pump, usually my next door neighbor machines them, but you can see it, but you can't feel it. I mean, that's that's cherry, honestly. I say if it's got a scratch, I'm going to take it next door. It's a nice job, a really nice job. So, pressure regulator valve. Spray it. Blow it. I like to put them in dry, because if they'll move dry, right, they'll move when you get fluid in it. And I'll put fluid in it too, like when I get it to move, but you can tell, that's dry, it's free. Pressure regulated springs, beat it. Can I go shift it? Give you the nice stuff. Nice. So this nice fat steel one. You can tell it's a lot bigger. Yeah. And it's self-cleaning. It's an actually a really nice, nice piece. So, it's a most, nice addition to this unit. Most indubitably, it's aluminum scrap. There should be a little aluminum piece with that thing. There it is, right there. So this just bumps it up a bit. I'm sure, it goes there. Wouldn't mind looking. <laughs> goes on that. That's anodized trash. Get a Tim Hortons. 
that's on the waiting list. Okay, so got the aluminum piece on there. One inner spring. Need to get a nice brand new. Owen. Flat side like the flat side down. Pretty sure that's the way it goes. Some don't make a difference, but this one does. Another pressure switch. Uh, this is a. This is the uh, pressure regulator valve. Of course, it's not on there. So that means also. Those things move dry, put a little transmission fluid on it, bam. Because this is a bench job and well already this week I had somebody call me and tell me that they actually flushed their no bullshit. They flushed their, their tranny with a garden hose. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Shit you not. Oh, but it's my wife's car, so it's okay, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who cares if it passes an e-test? It's my wife's car. <laughs> All right, so. Kind of like those pushies. A few more solid Teflon rings. These ones aren't as important as the uh, one on the input, but they are important. They make a good seal. You see, once they get out of the cooker and stuff, they're all size down and drum just just drops on it. Hundred bucks for a little plastic tool, but it beats it saves time, so I buy it. Bam. Daddy's home. What would you do if you didn't have that tool? You'd have to just play with. Just put it on the by uh, hand on the drum or something. I used I used to use a bushing, like that reverse input just bushing. Just take the chance on it snapping no. or breaking. No, it, if you do, I got tons of I got like a bunch more, right? But yeah, it's not worth taking a chance. Not even on these, let alone on that. That input on the input drum, it, it stops the oil from leaking over to another. Part. like there's like the forwards the three fours and the overruns are in there and if it, one leaks over to the other because the the seals shrink and they do shrink over time and it's just like a, a cross like a loss of fluid right so that thing's on there nice each section needs to have the right amount of fluid in it otherwise if you have cross leaks you're gonna have problems yeah. and then i just leave this tool just like on that i'm gonna leave that on until i put this thing together right and then the drum just falls on there real easy. So basically, the lockup, the pressure regulator, everything's done. Got new bushings in it, new filter, nail, ball, and screen are in there. Everything's free. Okay, I'll do the pump and later. Hey. I'm gonna send that pump. Yeah, I'm gonna huh? Uh huh? I'm gonna send this pump. This is a little. I'm gonna send the next one. Scrunched up for your yeah. legends. So I haven't done that, but in the We'll show you what that looks like later. I like the way you think of it. Before so. and after. Damn, you're smooth. I don't know why they put these things in here so tight. But this is the low and reverse frag. I like to change them both. Mm. 
Can you mind me to show you what I do with the old sprays? Oh, I will. Before this video ends, my loving mess. It actually looks like we get along and we like each other, huh? <laughs> I don't know why they don't do it like they do the input sprags. Unless there's a video for these things. How to open these things up. Some bullshit every time. It's crazy. Spring squirt. I think uh, Borg Warner has a comment box. <laughs> you can leave all your comments in their suggestion box. I'm sure they'll get right to it. I wonder how many of the extra they sell because somebody just busted them open. Next time, remind me if we do another one. Take this out of the box. <laughs> Martha Stewart style. Martha Stewart style. <laughs> what are Martha's doing? She got an eye opening in the joint. Wrong with the joint. <laughs> okay. uh, this right here, I gotta get another. Try to make like a cross hatch, like on a engine. Nice cross hatch for it so it works good. This is going to be another Martha Stewart one. <laughs> yeah, but these are good videos to show people too. Yeah, well, it doesn't go in the first time. If you have a used one, they're going real easy. But these ones, just a couple times. Sometimes. Drop a little uh, taco sauce but That's on what it. I mean. You, these videos are good because you're going to show people that are having a hard time with stuff like that. Little tips like that. You know, Matt, you're so much smarter than your uncle. I know it's not always fun when you're struggling with something and you're on video, but it's good because people can see that yeah, it's not easy. And there is a way to do it. So here's our nice beautiful fire tool. This how I do it too, Junior. I can everybody's a little different, right? Like they do it whatever way they want, but um, I like to do the back end. And just do everything in, you know what I'm saying? Get a close up of that video or that. Uh, Just put it right here. Bring it right up here. Yeah, can you that's see it? close. Yeah, that's so that is that's a nice def. fat Sonex bush, and that's like five bucks just for the one bush. And they spend a lot of jing on bushings, but it's worth it. Drop it in oil, pop it here. This guy's getting a nice train. I like it a lot. Something's got to be between everything. Go between everything a washer. Uh, this one, that's what usually goes in there, but this one I forgot to put the base in this thing. So this one's got to come off because it's if it was like a stock shell, do I have a stock shell? Probably in the back there. One second here. Or over there. I think this is the one that came out of it. And the splines are good on this one, but look at the difference. Look how fat and beefy that beast is. 65-61944 Padman. This shit, I'll sell to another shop. So we're going to taste that. I 
give you a nice little special washer. This washer goes on the back of this, like so. Again. <laughs> this one's got a nice Torrington. Sometimes it's a four tang washer. There. This one's got a, a bearing. Quinn Torrington. Torrington. Yeah. Not to be confused with Torrentino. <laughs> Quinn. Quinn. Your hero. This other beautiful fire. <laughs> We're going to keep this piece PG 13. <laughs> Shit back on. Next one. The input drum's done. Okay. Be nice bushing in there. Teflon. That's the pump bushing. It's a little thicker than the regular ones. Got a little juice in it. Oh yeah. Oh, and you can tell I'm Canadian, eh? This is what we took the break for. Nothing like Tim Hortons, eh? Double double. Still with me? Junior, you still with me? I sure am. So, okay. Here's your low and reverse. Bam. Bam. Get these square cut seals. Here's your reverse input. Put these things on. Canada, eh? Hey, we do the booty. We're Canadian, eh? Okay, juice this up a little bit. I think you should do them dry. I don't know how I did it, man, but I won't take no chances. Because I hate on her. I hate pulling this shit out. Cut one lip seal. He's a lot slicker than me. The boy's slicker than snot. You don't get a job at trans club just because you know somebody. <clears throat> you know what I mean, Junior? Okay. Where's my little uh, high dollar lip seal tool? Okay. No steel to cut your hands. Compliments of the Dodge Brothers. Okay. Bingo. Okay, there's two two snap rings exactly the same size. Can you see that, Junior? I sure can. Can the audience see that? Can the can can the viewing audience? So the thicker one goes in the input, reverse input. This thin one goes on that low and reverse. Give me two seconds, then we'll pop this on and we'll be right back. As the drone weighs down, these are the same steels. These things they hardly ever worn out. They're only on and reverse.
reverse inputs done. So new O-ring. There's a little O-ring we can match them up. What's that part? Just a filter. Catch it. Pump goes in the pump. Pump usually my next door neighbor machines them, but you can see it, but you can't feel it. I mean, that's that's cherry, honestly. I say if it's got a scratch, I'm gonna take it next door. I think it's a nice job, a really nice job. So pressure regulator valve. Spray it. Blow it. I like to put them in dry because if they'll move dry, right? They'll move when you get fluid in it. And I'll put fluid in it too, like when I get it to move, but you can tell that's dry. It's true. Pressure regulated springs. Beat it. Can I go shift it? They give you the nice stuff. Nice. So this nice fat steel one. You can tell it's a lot bigger. Yeah. And it's self-cleaning. It's an actually a really nice, nice piece. So, it's a nice addition to this unit. Most indubitably, it's aluminum scrap. There should be a little aluminum piece with that thing. There it is, right there. So this just bumps it up a bit. Make sure it goes there with a little line looking. <laughs> So that goes on that. That's anodized trash. <coughs> Get a Tim Hortons. That's all weight, being honest. Okay, so got the aluminum piece on there. On the inner spring. And you get a nice brand new. I like to put the flat side down. Pretty sure that's the way it goes. Some of them don't make a difference, but this one does. Another pressure switch. Now this is a. This is the uh, pressure regulator valve. Of course, it's not on there. So that means also. Those things move dry, put a little transmission fluid on it, 
bam, because this is a bench job. And well, already this week I had somebody call me and tell me that they actually flushed their no bullshit. They flushed their their tranny with a garden hose. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> shit, she's not. Two more solid Teflon rings. These ones aren't as important as the uh, one on the input, but they are important. They make a good seal. You see, once they get out of the cooker and stuff, they're all sized down. The drum just just drops on it. Hundred bucks for a little plastic tool. It beats it saves time, so I buy it. What would you do if you didn't have that tool? You'd have to just play with. Just put it on the uh, by hand on the drum or something. I use I used to use a bushing, like that reverse input just bushing. Just take the chance on it snapping no. or breaking. No, it, if you do, I got tons of I got like a bunch more, right? But yeah, it's not worth taking a chance. Not even on these, let alone on that. That input on the input drum, it, it stops the oil from leaking over to another. Part. like there's like the forwards the three fours and the overruns are in there and if it, one leaks over to the other because the the seals shrink and they do shrink over time and it's just like a, a cross like a loss of fluid right so that thing's on there nice each section needs to have the right amount of fluid in it otherwise if you have oh, cross leaks you're gonna have problems yeah. and then i just leave this tool just like on that i'm gonna leave that on until i put this thing together right and then the drum just falls on there real easy. So basically, the lockup, the pressure regulator, everything's done. Got new bushings in it, new filter, nail, ball, and screen are in there. Everything's free. Okay. Never mind if we do another one. Take this out of the box. <laughs> By the Stewart style. Martha's doing side. <laughs> what are Martha's doing? She got an eye opening in the joint. Yeah, she does anything wrong with the joint. <laughs> okay. Uh, this right here, I got to get another. Try to make like a cross hatch, like on a. Engine, nice cross hatch for it, so it works good. Your pants are pretty cool. You can use just on this one alone. APC looks lovely. <laughs> yeah, but these are good videos to show people too. Yeah, well, it doesn't uh, go in the first time. If you have a used one, they go in real easy. But these ones, just a couple times. One time. Drop a little uh, taco sauce that's on That's what it. I mean. You, these videos are good because you're going to show people that are having a hard time with stuff like that. Little tips like that. You know, Matt, you're so much smarter than your uncle. I know it's not always fun when you're struggling with something and you're on video, but it's good because people can see that Absolutely. it's not easy and there is a way to do it. So here's our nice beautiful five tune. This is how I do it too, Junior. Like everybody's a little different, right? Like they do it whatever way they want, but. I like to be the back end. I just do everything in, you know what I'm saying? Can you get a close up of that video or that? Uh, just put it right here, bring it right up here. Yeah, can you that's see it? close, yeah. That's, so that is that's a nice, fat Sonex bushing that's like five bucks. 
just for the one bushing. It, they spend a lot of jing on bushings, but it's worth it. Drop it in oil. Pop it here. This guy's getting a nice train. That likes it a lot. Something's got to between everything. Go between everything a washer. But on this one, that's what usually goes in there, but on this one, I forgot to put the in there too. If it was like a stock shell, do I have a stock shell? Probably in the back. One second. Yeah. Or over there. I think this is the one that came out of it. And the splines are good on this one, but look at the difference. Look how fat and beefy that beast is. 65-61944 Padman. Good shit. I'll sell to another shop. Still want to taste that. I'll give you a nice little special washer. Washer goes on the back of this, like so. I know this beefy. Say it again. This one's got a nice Torrington. Sometimes it's a four tang washer there. This one's got a, a big juice in there. Get the bushing all nice and wet. So the opening goes to this side and then this goes right here to the nine o'clock position, I guess it would be nine. Sorry, Neff. Just down return spring well reverse return spring little snapper Put that down get yourself a nice snap on screwdriver these guys ought to pay you princess auto deal I got a nice little princess auto one I use I'll take this over there princess auto we live we're live now. I like the way you think. These guys better start paying you for advertising. <laughs> Where's the little nut there, Junior? Uh, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's all right. So I'll put that in right there. Same shit except a different bolt. Easiest way to do it is like this. I found it anyway. You use snapping pliers to take you five to ten times. Gotta do this way so I get in the, get in the camera. Can you put the flash on? 
There we go. Nice five pinion. You like this? The shine? Yeah. Doesn't get any shine in that, Junior. Wave. Put that at six o'clock, that V. I can get it. This is hard. How's that? Are you getting a bird's eye view? I love you too. Anti conch spring. Right about the five thirty position. Nice roller sprag. Nice new sprag. for the snapper right there. I'll make sure it works. Hit the oil. Nice. Remember I told you because it's, it's a piece it's got the different little special washer. Nice Sonic Sun gear. Bushing. Bam. Tarrington, Tarrington, Quinlan. Okay, Jimmy. That's where I might lose my patience. You know that's hard for me. I've got the patience of the sun. Little buku. Good. Okay, this next part can be difficult with the camera. Let's go on there. You're not talking to me? You don't love me anymore. Band strip, thank you, whatever you want to call it.
Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, wait. Good again? Oh, Junior. I know you're going to hate me. Everybody does, everybody does it their own way. Like, I let a lot of cats put the band in first, but this is the way I do it. I'm strutted. And that way you know for sure you got it. You got it. Did you get coffee? No, we should just go home. <laughs> Junior. Play the tape back, would you? <laughs> Boy, this is I asked if you wanted a coffee. You said you didn't want one. Junior, what did I tell him? I don't remember. I honestly Go. don't remember. You said no. Junior, can you let it that tape tonight? Let's see what I said. I could have swore I said a medium double double. But... No, she said no. Pump wedge, what they call them. A huge hammer. You have to. What's that? Say you have it. My huge hammer. Princess Ada, one ninety nine. Couple lineups. A little pump gasket. Don't worry about us, Kenny. We're just trying to make a video. Yeah, I know. Video. Okay, sorry. My nephew can edit it. He's a star. Yeah. Make sure. Asshole. So I can make noise, right? Whatever you want, Kenny. Like that. I'll come old enough to be your younger brother. Yeah, I'm not sure. I am. Okay, Junior, we take that. Imagine that. You know what I'm saying? Why the name streets after him? One way. Nice job in the bolts, Junior. I can call young Michael and see what he says. I can call my son. My Carter inch. If he's alive, pass the room. Last one is right. Right there, 93 pounds. Drill there, there, there. That's all 93, except that one's 82. 93. 93. 93. 93. <laughs> So, separator plate, separator gas, pink side. Make sure that no holes are blocked. No 
Oh, the block is good. Foul body plate side. You can see foul body. Everything. Look on the other side, make sure none of the holes are blocked. Check ball right here. New fourth accumulator piston. With the O-ring. Remember I said save the old one? So instead of putting the Transgo put they give you yellow string and this is pretty much the only thing I don't get I always, I always do exactly what they say but I use the old one just to block off for a firmer force if he wants a firm force. He wants a firm shift on this. That's gonna go stage three, but that could a little crazy. Just leave the old seal on, use the old fist, and it's not even worn out. Makes for a good seal. Nice for here. Okay. Can you give me a pause for a second, Junior? Filters for the line. Separate plate. Ball there. Plate right down. Case is all been flat, sanded nice. Thanks to my loving nephew. He's quite the mechanic with the license. Two lineup bolts. Right there. If you don't do that, you'll have uh, Wayne Praditis. <laughs> Separated plates uh, that got uh, their own little uh, threads. Kind of three bolts right here. Must tighten that and you'll have a good reverse. Learn the right way. Okay. Now this one's going to be a nice little dog. Right Three watches in the Big blue channel. Uh, put them up there. Yeah. Big blue channel. Tell Kenny we're trying to make a movie about him. Tell him, Junior. Well, that's the way it's going to be, huh? Ten millimeter. That sounded really good. Take 
I didn't think it was a five, so I can get my hands on it. Oh, I'm not sure. Don't let him fucking yeah. say my name. Yeah, Name's is. Alvin Johnson. Yeah, I'm great. Alvin Johnson. Gotta get off that Alvin shit. Right. Where is Alvin anyway? Get off that Alvin shit. Alvin's coming. Who is he? Alvin's on holidays. I thought you knew that. No, we didn't. Elvin's alias name. Okay. Change what the shift's so noise. Now it's going to be giving you a number. You should get a longer peak in there now. Exactly. Can't, can't show my face around town. You guys have a lovely day. You have a blessed day, you too, Billy. Billy. It's five o'clock. It must be five o'clock. Close enough to it. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. So you know, three two downshifts somewhere. Too many shifts on the way. What's wrong, man? Project Discovery. What's some Chinese shit? It's not what's that. Uh, I put these on the side so you can change them in the car. TCC. New EPC. It's getting tore down. Just gotta make a video with my nephew. Yeah. Unless you want to tear it down. Well, it's, that was, I got a little bit longer to go, but. No, that's that's about, that's about it. And then we can get the. Out of here. Can you see that? Yep. Check all there. Check all there. 
Zoom into this. Huh? Zoom in a bit on the valve body. I believe we can. Check over there. Yeah. Let's flip it upside down so there's a little piece there. Mixes in with the tranny fluid once it gets hot enough. Yeah, yeah, just it's just to keep the balls in so yep. when you turn it upside down and stuff. Oh yeah. More plastic shit. Try it. This one looks like somebody flushed the cooler with water. And then that's got the big chance of let oil come out and reverse a little quicker. So little hook. I'll put some of this on here for right now. You tell me when it's set up good, Junior. So more? That's good. That's good. Three eight millimeters. Three eight ones here. Got a little right here, right here, right here. Put them on wrong. Look, you turn it up. It's good to know. My buddy Al. He found that out the hard way. <laughs> he just drives it. He says it'll end up on the magnet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to be all nice.
pause again. You want to pause it? No, it's alright. Just gotta pretty much put the pan on now. Put the pan on. Plug in that sen all the sensors. Plug in all the sensors. Put a lever seal in the side. And the tailstock on the back. Put that new Teflon bushing in the back and it's done. Stop the quiet video today, Junior. Sorry. Try to put the detent right in the middle. Can you see that? Is yep, that? I sure can. I have to never seal. Put some blue glue on it. Man gravy. inside it. What was that? What was that part of it? Lock up solenoid, two lock up solenoid bolts. Put that down first. I've got no rings on it. And these don't look original, they look Chinese to me. Bastards. See the difference? I got the gray connector, man. I just, I don't know. Shifting manifold switch. Nice and clean. Input shaft turns. Output shaft turns. Let's bring that end down just a bit. Like down towards you. There. You see? Yep. So, turns nice one way. Means this brag's working. No 
the lineup. that on, the bell housing on, bell housing our fork, you need, uh, you need to put one second here. you need that tool right there, get it from snap on, 50, what is it, 50 plus, and let's see, if they are 2009 and above, that up. yeah, sorry, which one is it, yeah, yep, nope, over, over, the white one, no, nope, keep going. Yep, yep. No, next one. Yep. That one right there. Daddy home. What the what's the stand? Oh yeah. So 2009 they started changing it to these, so. That's about it. Just put the pan on, it's done. Your day's done, Junior. The movie star. AMLP that's what. Whatever you call it. Jim Cannon is probably a bad, really bad dude. Told me just get their car. Just take it. Get, sure. get this painted or no? Yeah, I'll probably paint it. I just uh, don't want has to. Has it been yet? Oh, uh, no. Is that one over there? Yeah, I probably have what? Uh, what's his face? Oh, good golly. Well, he's, he's found a problem. That one you put in reverse and it goes forward. That one there? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a trailer park boys. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, when you put it in forward, don't move. <laughs> yeah. Park is new reverse, neutral is drive. <laughs> pretty much. Nice young man from patrolling. You want to put in park, you gotta pull the e brake. What's up? Is it snapped right off? Oh, it's just, it's been my week, right? Does that look like it's melted together? Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reminds you of a 4L80E? Yeah. The fucking open shaft. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. No, like, never... Hey, that's a good sales technique. I've never seen one like this. <laughs> no, honestly, I've never had it. <laughs> In all your years' experience, Kenny, come on now. No, this is the first time I've seen one break like let's, that. Let's, let's show that to the audience. You seen <laughs> one like that? After every rebuild, that's what they usually look like. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it here. Let me see it, Kenny. I want to get on video. Show them, Junior. Show them what you want. Isn't that nice? <laughs> this, this is part of the output shaft. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you got the five pin you update on that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Take it easy, Junior. I don't know what you're going to say. Can you see that? No, it was good where it was, but that's good there, too. Because the only thing I'm going to do is call tonight because i got to get that sandblasted. Yeah. Oh, but that, that just needs to be so butchered. be part three then. Yeah, I'm yes. just gonna, no, there's going to be no part three. This, okay. this good. That's going to go right there. I'm going to change that bushing with this Teflon. That's a nice Teflon too, but I'm going to get a new, more gooder Teflon in there. New seal. Six bolts on it. I only got two of them, right? Shiny yet. Looks like you were falling back on the job. Only two of them are done. Put that there like that. Put six bolts with this square cut O-ring and this shiny's wow. done. But this is what I like to do with these. I'm going to put pan bolts on here so that way if you ever have to pull a pan down, these are sometimes a real bugger. So if they're usually fire tarks and they're junk, so and as soon as you put that on, if you ever have to take the pan down, just get a couple 13s and no problem. Automatics only customs? What's that? 
That's an automatics only custom. Uh, I'm sure a lot of cats do it. I see it sometimes. But, um, some of the kids. There you go. There you go, sports fans. Fire L60 with five pinions.